Hello guys, and welcome back to another Emperor tutorial. Today what we're going to be looking at is a really special type of block that allows us to do really cool things. Um, now, I'm going to be sending a message in chat, just uh, not a command, but show monsters. And what this is going to do, watch if I type it right, what it's going to do is it's going to actually find the nearest entity from where the command is run or the the text and it's going to just basically apply a status effect to that entity another thing that it does is it lets us know found monsters now this is uh using two very unique blocks uh added i think not too long ago a couple updates ago but uh, we'll take a look at that right now so let's open up Emperor and we'll see what it looks like These particular two blocks are very useful when testing for things. I've used both of them in this particular procedure when player sends chat, so that's basically the procedure we just used. Uh, in our case, what I've done is I've gotten the dependency name text, which is this one right here, which gets the text of the player, and then we're testing for show monsters. And then what, what I'm doing is I'm basically giving the entity an entity uh, potion effect for a certain duration. And then I'm using this block right here, which allows me to basically select a specific group or specific enti entity and use that as the event slash target entity. Now, this does not require source entity or event slash target entity. You could run it on pretty much any particular uh, procedure because it's it doesn't require um, an actual... Uh, entity specific type dependency to actually run this. Uh, it just requires the nearest entity of where the, the uh, script is being run from. Uh, but there is some limitations to this. Um, I have run into a few errors where it can crash, uh, especially when running it in a certain area with multiple mobs, uh, maybe very close to the same distance as the same player. Another thing is setting it to a really low number for the cube, like one uh, has crashed for me in the, uh, the past as well. So setting it to three or above would probably be the best. Uh, now the other block down here basically allows you to test if there is a entity in a cubic area, which is what I'm doing in this particular script right here. I'm basically testing if the player or, or pardon me, if the entity exists of monster in a cubic area of 128, which is 128 blocks um, ra radius, no, diameter, pardon me. And then if it does find a uh, entity, then it's going to print out that message that we saw. So basically that's all it does. It uh, allows us to create target entities that are close to the specific source of the script and it's really useful for making really advanced things and um, definitely check it out try it out for yourself and it's really easy to set up again all you need to do is basically replace anything with event slash target entity with this particular block to basically target a specific type of entity so you could do something like at p or at player uh, like the um, entity player MP. This will target the server side um, player uh, and we'll send a message to the nearest one where the script is found. Uh, one thing I should note uh, before I go though is the to find these two particular blocks, this one right here and the other one, is under world data and then if you scroll all the way down to the bottom it's right at the bottom here it says get nearest entity and does entity exist and it's these two blocks right here but without further ado uh thanks for watching if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out